What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today we'll be doing a quick sensor tutorial of how to get set up with the BMP280 with the ESP32 microcontroller to start getting pressure and temperature readings and altitude readings in real time using the Arduino IDE. I have talked about BMP sensors and BME sensors on my channel if you've been watching. So if you're watching this video, you're probably familiar with the setup. And we're just gonna jump straight into the physical connection here. So we can see because it's I2C, we only need four jumper wires to connect to the ESP32 from the BMP280. And I'm just going to assume both of your components are already soldered with pins. If not, you can buy both of those pre-soldered online. I will link the one I used in the description down below, which you can buy pre-soldered from Shilatech. And then what you have here is we have the power in red, which should be connected to the three to the 3.3 volt pin on the top left there on the ESP32, followed by ground here in black should be connected to the top right. And SCL and SDA, as you could see there, for our I squared C communication. So that's all you will need in terms of the physical setup. It's very easy. If this is your first time working with I squared C communication with sensors using this device, it's pretty much all the same thing. So now that you have that set up and your device is powered in, we're gonna jump to the Arduino ID and show you what you will need real quick. So let's just go ahead and jump to that. So let me just drag it from the screen here and get started with the Arduino ID. So I already have the Arduino ID installed in it is free to use it if it's your first time using the Arduino ID. The first thing you want to do is make sure you have the ESP32 board installed in Arduino ID. So as you can see here, I have the ESP32 by Espressif system. So you just wanna go ahead and use that as well. Once you have that downloaded, what you want to do is you want to download the library for the BMP280. So I just searched BMP280 and Adafruit as always comes to save the day. If you guys don't know Adafruit, they're one of the best makers of such libraries for sensors regarding all parts in Raspberry Pi or Arduino on ESP32. So thankfully they have a nice and easy to use library for the BMP280. So you just wanna go ahead and install that, which I already did with all the respective dependencies there. And then once we have that, um, what's nice about Adafruit libraries is they typically come with examples. So if you watch my channel before, you can see that that I use a lot of examples from their libraries rather than writing the code for myself because why reinvent the wheel when they already have a bunch of code you can use in their libraries. So actually before you connect the library, make sure you're connected to the actual ESP32 in Arduino ID. So you just wanna to go to tools and you wanna to go to the board and you wanna select ESP32 dev module. So you just go down here to ESP32 and you find ESP32 dev module and make sure you select the port if you're Device is plugged in, a new port should pop up and you should be familiar with which port that is. So mine's just 001 there. And I'm using a Mac, so maybe they're a little different than what's on Windows and what's on Linux. And once we have that, we should be good in terms of the overall setup. Now let's go and find that example. So if you downloaded that library, you can just go to file on the top there, go to examples and go to Adafruit BMP280 library. And we have the BMP280 test, which is nice. And what we want to do here is simply run this code. But before we do it, we want to type um, 0x76, which is the I squared C address of our BMP280. So let's just go ahead and put that in. And they gave us a bunch of code here that's going to give us the temperature in Celsius. It's going to give us the pressure and it's going to give us the altitude. Now, one thing to note about the altitude is they have a note here adjusted to local forecast. Once again, I went over this on my channel, but pretty much it's, in order to get an accurate altitude reading, you need to know the sea level pressure in your region. And once again, I live in Austin and I've talked about this on my channel. It's very easy to find the sea level pressure if you live in a major city. You can just literally Google sea level pressure in my area. So let's just search sea level pressure Austin. And we could see that the Austin Bergstrom International Airport gives us the sea level pressure in millibar. And this will allow us to get an accurate representation for the algorithm that calculates the altitude. So try to find that in your area. If you can't, maybe there's some way. Let me know in the comment section down below. I'd be curious to see people who live in small towns if they can't find this. So it is in millibar, which is also, I believe, the same unit equals HPA. So if we go ahead and run this and upload it, if we did everything correctly, we should see it um, upload to the serial monitor and start getting readings there so let's go to serial monitor and make sure it's on 9600 so give it a sec we're almost to the end here and just note that if you don't really have an accurate syllable pressure you may get wild readings and you'll find that if you actually google earth your altitude you'll get something really off 
So that's something other people have commented on my channel and I told them to adjust the sea level pressure and they got the correct thing. So we can see that we are getting altitude there and it is pretty similar to the altitude of where I live, which I Google Earthed. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. After you've done this, you could probably pretty much do many other sophisticated things like create an actual weather channel with a sensor. And of course, most of your use cases with the sensor simply by using their library with all the skeleton code, which is nice. So I just want to say stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Many simple sensor tutorials for beginners, many more sophisticated tutorials for more intermediate applications and advanced applications regarding microcontrollers, regarding full stack engineering. So stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching and take it easy.